Okay, so in the last video we talked about Prezi. Again, we were looking specifically at how we could add pictures as well as YouTube video clips into a presentation. And we're still working on a template here that was one of the pre-made templates. And there's several dozen of them in there for you to choose from. We just picked this one. Um, but what we talked about before is that the way we have it right now with mostly just a title and a picture, it's good if you were using this as kind of a note sheet for yourself as you're going through class. You know what information you wanted to put on here and discuss when those images came up so you wouldn't have to write a whole lot which is a good practice anyway and not having to put everything on there it's kind of like the equivalent of not having a PowerPoint where all of your words you want to speak are actually up on the slide because at that point why not just give them the presentation um, if all you're going to do is uh, regurgitate what's on the slide however there might be some situations where you want to put more information in than we have here you want that to be part of the pathway that it, the presentation goes from um, and uh, you know, right now we just have a limited amount of information on here. What about if we wanted to add more? How could we do that? So we're going to do that with an example here. Um, let's do it with correlations. Let's say we wanted to add some additional information about correlations in here for students to review or just because we wanted to have a more comprehensive presentation than what we have right now. But we want to create additional pathways for this to go off of. So let's go ahead and over here you can see all the different slides we have so far, basic slides within our presentation. Let's go to Add. This is going to add 10 and adds 10 over here. And we can go in here. Let's say that we wanted to add three new pieces of information. So let's go one here. Now here's 10, 11, and one more. Oops, 12. And 12 is over here. We'll kind of put it over here. You can see how it looks. Now I happened to take kind of the information from the closest slide we were on. So let's say that we didn't like the angle there. We wanted it to be more of a standard angle. We could take this here and just do delete. And now it goes away again. Go back out. We could say, okay, we like 10 and 11. Back down in this area. Let's go ahead and add one there. And it's going to get in. Now it's closer to these, so it's going to give it the same orientation. So let's go into 10 and say we wanted to add text. So we've got our place here for our text. Let's say we wanted to add this. We wanted to say relations, relations are represented by the letter R. We could change in here. Maybe we want this to be title. So we'll put it there. We'll click OK. Let's just put it here. Click out of it. And then we can click back on it again, make it a little bit bigger if we wanted to, or smaller. Also just kind of make it grow whatever size we felt like it. So let's put that there. Then we have that piece of information. Back and back out here a little bit. Student doing a number 11, add text, maybe we'll have sample, Let's go ahead and leave that text how it is. Of course, we could change it any way we felt like it. Back, back out a little bit. 1 to 12. A little bit more information.
enter that again. We can back that out. So we have quite a bit more information here now than we did before. So if we back this out, let me take a look at that. This is kind of what we have right now. Let me say we have, could change the fonts if we chose to. We can also change the size of these. So let's say that we didn't want it to be this large and have it to look this way to begin with. We could go in here, select this, and make the whole thing smaller. Maybe tile them around the edge here. Take a look at our show, we will see a couple things. One, we have more information up here. We could even make these smaller if we felt like it. But we could do this, and we can make these smaller and smaller, so we could fit as many as, of, of them as we wanted around here. Now we could even have them off in space over here in other places if we'd like to. But they're in the path here at 10, 11, and 12. So let's play the show real quick and just see what exactly it would look like if we were to play the show right now. up here to the new ones. So certainly we don't want to have this in positions 10, 11, and 12. We really want them to be in positions, this is 7, 8, 9, and 10. So let's drag 10 over here, be the new 8, 11 to be the new 9, and 12 to be the new 10. So now these are renumbered 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 and 12. So let's go back, take a look at our show again, and see what it looks like with that change. out of the presentation. So there we have it. So you can see we can add as much information as we want to. We can make a very complex Prezi or fairly simple depending on what we want. But because we can change the size of these frames here and when we go through the presentation it'll still come up to a full screen, we can add as much information around here if we want to and change that path that the presentation goes through to get whatever effect we want. So hopefully this is useful to you, and uh, like I said, Prezi can be a lot of fun to work with after you learn how to use it, so I encourage you to give it a shot, try it. I've had good success with both students and teachers who learn how to use it, and I think you'll be happy that you've uh, given it a chance. Thank you.